Finally, the average new car price falls below sticker for the first time in almost two years, as reported by Kelly Blue Book. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. We mentioned this in our previous show about Memorial Day sales events. If you missed it, go back and check it out. But this news is big enough that it deserves its own headline. Multiple sources are reporting now that car buyers on a nationwide basis are finally paying below sticker price for new cars again after a 20-month stretch when that wasn't the case. For nearly two years, Americans have heaved a heavy sigh, shaking their heads as they had to go back to recalculating the monthly budget numbers every time they thought about buying a new car. For most of the last two years, car dealers have known that they could ask well over the sticker price for every car on their lot. They knew buyers would pay it. Why? Because with very few exceptions, every dealer was doing it and they had no other viable options. The nonsense is over. Very few are still doing it and now you have options. Oh yes, we know there are dealers out there still asking for market adjustments and we get that some may continue long after the practice has died coast to coast. Like this viewer reports. Viewer Jason Wade writes, So tired of the 3K market adjustments still on all the vehicles. Are people really paying 10-20% to 20% over MSRP still? The answer is loud and clear in this report that nobody should be paying a market adjustment if anyone still is. Viewer Jay Ramey also reports, I'm in Nevada. I went to buy a Kia Sorento and they currently have a 9K market adjustment fee. Where are these discounts you keep telling me about? Jay Ramey, are you kidding me on a Sorento? That may be true for others out there in certain areas too, but keep in mind that we're talking about a new car purchase here. With minimal risk, you can easily shop for new cars with dealers in neighboring cities or even over state lines. Literally everyone who messages us with that question, we respond by saying, expand your search outside of your immediate area. Whatever you do, do not patronize a dealer who still asks for a market adjustment. According to this new report from Kelly Blue Book, KBB, in March, the average sale price of a new car was $171 below the average MSRP, a positive indication that the market is improving for buyers who've been paying above MSRP since the summer of 2021. A year ago, the average sale price was almost $1,000 higher than the average MSRP. The average transaction price paid for a new vehicle in the United States declined in March 2023 the 48,008, according to Kelly Blue Book data. That's a month over month decrease of 1.1%. Not a lot, we agree, but it's a decline nonetheless. More cars on the lots means more discounts for car buyers. Manufacturer incentives, the discounts and cashback offers radio announcers typically describe with unwarranted excitement, uh-huh. made a return as well. Incentives made up 3.2% of the average transaction, good for a discount of about 1516 bucks. Why are discounts back? Because increasing inventory is giving some leverage back to the buyer. Rebecca Rydzewski, research manager at Cox Automotive, said, We've been anticipating transaction price declines as inventory has steadily improved and choice has expanded. Adding more vehicles on dealer lots and on their competitors' lots means dealers simply don't have the pricing power they did six months ago. Car shoppers for a bit more affordable vehicles had it best. Non-luxury buyers paid an average of 44182 The price drop showed up at nearly every sales lot. Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Ford, Hyundai, Kia, Nissan, and Volkswagen all saw their average price decline between 0.2 and 3.8% month over month in March. Honda and Kia dealers were still charging an average of 3 to 6% over sticker. Friends, we need an organized nationwide boycott of all the dealers still charging over MSRP. Yeah! Luxury car prices are still falling slower. Luxury buyers saw less of an improvement the last two months. They paid an average of $65,202, just $9 less than in February. Luxury vehicles made up about 18.2% of total sales, historically high, but down from the record of 19.3% set in January. Entry-level luxury cars, high-end luxury cars, luxury compact SUVs, luxury midsize SUVs, and luxury subcompact SUVs all showed price declines between 0.5% and 1.4%. For you EV fans out there, EV prices actually went up despite Tesla's price cuts. Electric vehicle prices rose slightly in March, bucking a recent trend of declines. The average EV sold for 313 more in March than in February. EV buyers paid 58940 on average. March's increasing EV prices were a bit of a surprise since Tesla, the automaker with the largest share of EV sales, has cut prices three times in recent months. However, EV sales from Mercedes, Rivian, Lucid, and other brands have increased. 
at the same time offsetting lower priced Tesla products. As many of you are aware, the pandemic brought on a highly unusual environment for car shoppers. As you recall, before 2021, it was standard for car buyers to be able to haggle at the dealership and get a new car for below MSRP, often thousands of dollars below it, even below invoice and after subtracting the whole back. More recently, buyers have had very little leverage because car inventories were extremely tight. So it's a step in the right direction, and it's a beginning step to a return to near normal for new cars to once again be selling for less than the sticker price. In general, consumers are finding more inventory, more choice, and dealers more willing to deal, at least with some brands. Some Yet, way. even as deals improve, unfortunately, auto loan rates remain very high, ultimately making new vehicle affordability an issue for many households. Now, speaking of new cars here in 2023, for those of you still doing some shopping, here's some vehicle rankings to think about. In each vehicle category, here are the ones who earned the top three spots this year based on KBB reports. In the subcompact category, it's Honda Civic at number one, Hyundai Elantra at number two, and Hyundai Elantra Hybrid at number three. Midsize car category, it's Honda at the top again with Accord at number one, Honda Accord Hybrid at number two, and Toyota Camry at number three. The full-size car category had Toyota Avalon at number one, Toyota Avalon Hybrid at number two, and Kia Stinger at number three. Top three convertibles in 2023 are the Mazda MX-5 Miata at number one, and Mazda MX-5 Miata RF at number two, and the Chevy Corvette at number three. The best subcompact SUV category, it's Kia Seltos at number one, Honda HRV at number two, and Subaru Crosstrek at number three. Best compact SUV category, Honda CRV at number one, Honda CRV Hybrid at number two, and Kia Sportage at number three. Best midsize SUVs had Kia Telluride at number one, Hyundai Santa Fe at number two, and Kia Sorento at number three. Best full size SUVs were topped by Ford Expedition at number one, Ford Expedition Max at number two, and Chevy Tahoe at number three. Best mid size pickup trucks were Toyota Tacoma at number one, Chevy Colorado at number two, and GMC Canyon number three. Best full-size truck category has Ford F-150 at number one, Ram 1500 truck at number two, and Chevy Silverado 1500 at number three. Most fuel-efficient trucks were led by Ford Maverick at number one, GMC Sierra at number two, and GMC Sierra Crew Cab at number three. But who buys a truck for fuel efficiency yeah, seriously. anyway? I'm going to wrap up today by thanking you, our viewers, for submitting your good dealer nominations to us. It's awesome to hear from you with so many great suggestions made. To demonstrate the kind of email response you can expect from a good dealer, our viewer Alex submitted this email he got from a dealer in the state of Washington. This totally classy dealer who sets the bar high for how dealers ought to respond to an out-the-door request via email. Amy from Marysville Toyota in Washington writes, Hi Alex, thanks for your interest. My name is Amy White and I am the digital team leader here at Marysville Toyota. I'd be happy to assist you. I got your email yesterday but was out of the office. At this time, we do not have any 2023 Toyota Highlander Hybrid Platinums in white with black interior on the ground or incoming within the next 90 days. My team and I will have to continue to keep you updated as we have more inventory built for us. I remind you this is a Toyota. Everyone knows it's a hard to get vehicle, but take note how this dealer still plays it straight up. To answer your questions. Number one, our Highlander hybrids will be priced at 99.5% of MSRP with no additional dealer markup or dealer installed options. So a hard to get Toyota below MSRP, no forced installed options. Number two, there are no additional dealer fees. That's amazing. Number three, there are no additional dealer accessories or add-ons. Even more amazing. <laughs> Number four, I can give you a rough idea of the out the door price. The MSRP for a 2023 Toyota Highlander Hybrid Platinum in white is starting at 54385 This is with no additional packages or accessories. With our discount, the sales price is 54113 plus tax title license. The out the door price would be 59824 This does not include any RTA fees. That stands for Regional Transit Authority in Washington, which are dependent on where you register the vehicle. Pricing will vary depending on color and packages, accessories on the vehicle as well. Was there any other questions I can assist you with? Signed, Amy White, Marysville Toyota in Marysville, Washington. Marysville Toyota, this was a classic response. Proof, my friends, that a below MSRP, no dealer fees, no additional dealer accessories or add-ons is available, that good dealers do exist, and that the market adjustments are dead. To our other good dealers out there, if this sounds like an email response that you would have written, we'd love to hear from you and we'll add you to the good dealers list that we are building. You can either use 701-441-3399 or email us at kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com. 
We will spread the good news because we've made a pledge to highlight and support the good dealers out there. We definitely want to hear from you. All right, if you're new here at the Homer Guy channel or you're a dealer stopping in for the first time, as Liz just shared, we're on a mission to highlight and promote good dealers around the country, just like Marysville Toyota we just heard from in Washington, and we'd love to hear from you. We want to add you to the list of good dealers we are building. In summary, we are in search of dealers who offer no funny business and provide a simple, honest, low-pressure car buying experience for their customers. So if this last sentence describes you, we'd love to hear from you. Again, that contact information is 701-441-3399 or email kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com. Also, for our newest viewers, it's vitally important that you don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on our future announcements. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guy team and our show, is where you always find the most reliable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's market. We've been living up to that for 14 straight years. Join our fast-growing group of subscribers and become a part of our ginormous YouTube family. If you've just recently joined our group of subscribers, we welcome you. Also, thanks to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back, and to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.